Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone hacks. I have five awesome hacks to share with you guys that will make your life easier using your iPhone on a daily basis, but also will let you do some really cool stuff with your iPhone so that you make your iPhone look different and not just the exact same iPhone as everyone else has. So before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit the subscribe button it will really help the channel a lot and we're starting things off with reminders and also the clock app both of them will have this really cool trick that you can use it will make your life much easier so let's go to reminders right here and as you know with ios 26.2 apple has added a cool new feature where you can add alarms to reminders but you can use this trick also when just creating a normal reminder or creating an alarm on the clock app. So let's say we go here to create a new reminder. When we go here to add actually the time for this reminder, you can see if we enable time or urgent, whichever one we want, and tap right there, you can see the time here is actually on increments of five minutes. You cannot, let's say if you wanna say add it at 1622, you won't be able to do that. You have to just choose 1620 or 1625. Well, here's what you do. You simply tap right there and it goes to this mode right here where it shows your keyboard. And now I can go ahead and actually add the exact time to which I want to create a, this reminder. And as you will see right here, this will also work with alarm. So if we go to alarms right here and tap to create a new alarm, we have here the exact time we can add any minute we want. But if you just don't want to scroll here to find the, the clock, that the, basically the time that you need, you simply tap right there and you can go ahead and manually add the time quickly as easy as this. Here's another one that you must know and will save you a ton of time. So let's take a screenshot right here and you can see what happens. We take a screenshot. We have this full preview of the screenshot right here. We have to tap there if we want to save it or delete it or copy and delete. From here, we will basically have this huge preview of the screenshot. But here's what you can do. Head on to the settings app. And then right here under the general settings, under screen capture, you will have this full screen previews button. You disable that and this is what you get. Now, much easier, much faster to take a screenshot. So you take the screenshot, it goes there, you can swipe it away and it will automatically be saved to your photos library. Whenever you need it, you can also tap and hold right there and it will give you the share option. So now from here, I can go ahead and airdrop it of course, send it to a message. I want to copy it. I can copy it from here, which is really awesome. Now, what you can also do is, of course, just tap once and it will take you to the full screen preview if you actually need to be here to mark it up or something like that. But this actually just makes it much easier and much faster for you to take screenshots. Next up, I will show you guys how to get these awesome custom themes on your iPhone. You can see how cool these icons look and they're not just there they actually work. So if I tap to go to Safari, it takes me to Safari and it actually doesn't need to like do a lot of redirections or stuff like that. You can see it just goes like this and it goes straight then back into the app. Really awesome and really fast. And of course they look way different than the stock iOS icons. Well, the way to do this is pretty easy. All you have to do is head on to the app store and download this app called Maloco. Of course, I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have this app installed, you will see right here the gallery for the themes. You can go ahead and browse all these cool themes right here. We'll have the trending ones. You will have different like featured themes right here. And of course, you will have a search bar right there. Now, when you go to a theme that you actually like, all you have to do is just tap install system icons right here. It will generate the theme, then tap allow here, and then head on to your settings. Under the settings, it will show you this profile. You simply tap right here to install it. Just like that, you enter your passcode.
And now, as you can see, once we go to the home screen, we have a full new theme installed on the device, which is really awesome. Now, what I really like about this is that whenever you want to remove this from your device, it will also be very easy. I can go back right here to settings, go to the profile that I just installed. It's this one right here. All I have to do now is tap remove profile, enter the passcode of my device, and there we go. In a couple of seconds, we can tap to remove the profile just like that all those icons are now gone. This is the easiest and the best way by far to install custom themes on your iPhone on the new iOS 26. And last but not least, we have two cool hacks here. We're talking about widgets. Now, if you want to get widgets that look really awesome, on your iPhone on the new iOS 26, you need to have these widgets right here. Until now, these are the only ones, the only app that I have is called Mojo, the only one that I have actually found that has actual transparent widgets. You can see how cool these widgets look. So all you have to do is go into the app here and once you have installed the app, you will find here all kinds of different widgets. So you will have different sections right here. So you can see you have like the CarPlay widgets for CarPlay, you have calendar, task progress, the X boards right here, pretty awesome. Now all you have to do is just save one of these widgets. I can tap, of course I can customize it here, but then tap on save. And then all you have to do is on the home screen, just add a widget from this app and then tap on edit widget. And it will show you right here the list of all the widgets that you have saved. You select one of them and once you have done that, you enable this button transparent and that's all you have to do you now get the transparent widget on your home screen which actually looks really really awesome now what's even cooler than this is a like a trick a hack that you can use to hide these widgets or any other widgets basically in plain sight and this is how it works you will have to install this app right here it's called yidget right here this is the app now what we have to do once we have the app installed is go to the home screen and from here go to the edit mode and then swipe to a page where there are no icons and take a screenshot and once you have taken the screenshot just go into the app and load the screenshot right here tap on create and load the screenshot now this is what you will see now once this has basically been created all you have to do is tap that button to save this and now here's the cool part so let's just decide what we want to hide let's hide this widget in the middle right here so now we go and add the the medium size widget from yet get here so here we have it we tap on add and now just choose the position where you want to use it in this case it's top of course it's the, the default we have the widget that we want to hide in the middle so we choose the middle right here and there we go here we have the middle one displaying now just drag this come here and just place it above the widget you want to hide basically you're creating a stack right here and now just see how that looks this is really really cool one of the coolest tricks that i think you can do on the home screen of your iphone so now we have basically like a blank space right here but when i swipe it reveals the hidden widget like this i can go ahead and hide it again how cool is that? You can go ahead and hide and unhide widgets on your home screen, make it look really, really different and of course, pretty cool. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are five awesome hacks that you can do on your iPhone on the new iOS 26. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.